So to my son, the next 25 years will be great. Yeah. There shall be no missteps. Yeah. Abraham kept that walk for 100 years. Jesus, I mean, God called him at 75. He remained in his place with God for 100 years. He went to heaven at 175. Moses had this mandate at 80. Stayed through the 120. Many have made it to the end. Paul made it to the end until he became Paul the aged. He was pursuing after souls. He was living for God. You will not falter. Yeah. Therefore, to all my colleagues, as I close, in ministry, and particularly all upcoming ministers here, I have the following admonition for you. And the word became flesh and dwelt among them. I have no shadow of doubt that this video is going to be a blessing on your life and your ministry. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Watch a full video next week. Beware of serving other gods. It will rob any believer of his place in space. Beware of serving any other God. It, it can rob any believer of his place in space. We all have a place out there above all nations. But following other God can rob any one of it. If you check Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 14, it said the condition for these blessings to keep going is that thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I commanded thee this day to go right to the side or to go after other gods to serve them. It's a condition to maintain the flow of those blessings. Now, when you talk of other gods, you just think about idols. But let me show you something. Yes, idols are there. They were, they were all kinds of creatures made by man, and they call them their gods. Exodus 12, 12. We were talking about the gods of Egypt, right? And then... Um, but beyond that, there's the God of gold. He said they have committed the great sin. They have made themselves the I mean, gods of gold. Exodus 32, verse 31. Many are just worshiping gold. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, these people have committed a great sin and have made them gods of gold. People have murdered others for money. Some have perhaps murdered their children. Some maybe their mother for money. That's how much havoc the God of God has done. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, it said, the love of money is the root of all evils, which some coveted after and have made themselves pierced themselves through with many sorrows, and I've drawn, been drawn to foolishness and perdition. Oh, thou man of God, flee this thing. The God of God is holding human life by the throat. Leave it. Obey God, his blessings will flow. Keep obeying God, enjoy obeying God, his blessings will keep flowing. There is a law in the scriptures that will make gold look like dust. <laughs> Amen. That will make God look like dust. Job 22 and verse 21. Acquaint not that I say with him, and then you'll be at peace. Thereby shall good come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law for his heart, and lay up his word in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you shall be built up. You shall put iniquity far from your tabernacle. Then shall thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of offer as the stones of the brew. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. There's a law that launches men to that realm of fortune. Mind that law, leave the rest to God. Mind that law and leave the rest to God. Mind that law. The anchor law. 
is the law of giving. Mind it and mind it with delight and enjoy it. Try to put joy on the face of people. You can't say you love God without loving those around you. Those who love God love their brethren also. <laughs> God is not a kalukalu man. I mean, God is a, a covenant keeping God. Those are what he says. No matter who preaches what, some will never pay tithe till they die. Now, where would the windows of heaven open? Beware of the God of gold. It destroys. Then there's the God of self-worship. Self-worship. They call it pride. Self-worship. Self-worship. Pride goes before destruction. We have seen it several days. Satan lost his place in heaven to pride. We saw the mechanism became an animal through pride. We saw Herod eaten up by worms on his throne. I call it self-worship. Beware. Not to stop the flow of blessings and impact. Beware. These are cautions to take to sustain impact. These are cautions we must take to sustain impact. Number two, mind, em mind empath and not pleasure. Mind empath and not pleasure. Mind contribution and not possession. You want to sustain impact in ministry, mind impact. Not pleasure. Mind contribution, no possession. If I do not the words of my father, believe me not. Jesus went about preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom, and resources were flowing in in response to the impact. If we have given you of our spiritual seed, I mean, First Corinthians nine eleven, you are partakers of our spiritual things. And then uh, he said, if you have shown unto you spiritual things, is it a great thing that we shall reap of your kind of things? It's, it's normal. It's a flow organized by God. Not orchestrated by man, organized by God. I mean, this can be very fulfilling, sir. I heard God say to me, don't raise money, raise men. I mean, I, I had him by myself. And there'll be much flow into the ministry than you ever imagined. Less mind impact, less mind contribution for a man's life does not contain abundance of the things which he possesses. No one will remember you for what you have is your cup of tea, for what you add. I'm speaking to everybody now in church. Be addicted to value addition. Be there to add value. Be there to advance the kingdom. Be there to add value to men and women around you. Don't seek fame. Seek to retain the fire of the Holy Ghost. People will always gather to wherever the power is flowing. Seek it. Don't seek him and applause. Seek God's commendation in the pursuit of your God-given mission. We shall not lead people to. We shall not lead people to heaven. We shall be there ourselves. Yeah. All ministers who are here, I say we shall be there. Yeah. Beware of comparison one of one with another. Beware of comparison. Each one has his mission. You have your fingerprint is different from another person. Let each one abide in his calling, wherein he is called. Abide there. First Corinthians 7, 20 and 24. Abide in your calling. There's enough in it. Every calling in Christ is a high calling. Amen. Abide there. Grace can take a man up. It takes meekness to stay up. May the spirit of meekness come upon each one here. Yeah. So to my son, the next 25 years will be great. Yeah.
There shall be no missteps. Amen. So this church, in the next 25 years, will be great. Amen. There shall be change of story every year. Amen. And my prayer is that everyone in this great mission will make it to heaven at the end. May the world tonight reposition us Amen. to make the most of our remaining days on earth. Amen. May we all receive grace to remain spiritually minded Amen. in all areas of our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that God's grace upon this commission will keep multiplying. Amen. I mean, we receive grace to keep following Jesus. Amen. All the days of our lives. Amen. Every minister present here, you are changing level. Amen. Your ministry is changing level. Amen. Your spiritual life is changing level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Together we shall see a brand new Nigeria. Amen. A brand new Nigeria. Amen. A brand new Nigeria. Amen. Your part in the making of it will not be missing. Another man will not take your place. In the name of Jesus. May each one here remain a part of this spiritual awakening. And keep investing, advancing it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. Brand new day for this ministry. Brand new day for this ministry. Brand new day for your life. Brand new day for your family. Brand new day for your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Abraham kept that war for 100 years. Jesus, when I mean, God called him at 75, he remained in his place with God for 100 years. He went to heaven at 175. Moses had this mandate at 80, stayed through the 120. Many have made it to the end. Paul made it to the end. Until he became Paul the aged. He was pursuing after souls. He was living for God. You will not falter. You will not falter. You will not falter. For all ministry gifts who are here tonight, please listen to me. King Asa brought a mighty revival to Judah. But after 20 years, he ghost. You will not ghost. Amen. Your ministry will not ghost. Amen. King Uzziah followed the revelation that came through Zechariah for 53 years, for 52 years already. And afterwards, he ghost. You will make it to the end. Amen. You will make it to the end. Amen. You will make it to the end. You make it to the end. Amen. King Saul was God's choice and God regretted. After 40 years, you make it to the end. Amen. You make it to the end. Amen. You make it to the end. Amen. No one among us here will miss our place in eternity. Amen. And may the impact ordained for us as ministers beginning from my son here and his wife, shall be fully delivered. Amen. 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 The spiritual awakening country will keep changing level. Amen. We keep changing level. Amen. And the name of Christ will keep being glorified. Amen. Multitudes will be coming to the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. 
so shall it be if anyone came to this service tonight with any sickness or disease I command your instant healing I command your instant healing I command your instant deliverance if anyone came in here confused now I decree divine direction I decree divine direction somebody testified recently 2002 he was set to travel out and he came into that service and I spoke a word in the open I never knew who he was I never knew anything why teaching he left that service and said, no, this is not the way to go. And the fortune which he walks in today is amazing. Allow his word to direct your path. Amen. You never miss the road following Jesus. Amen. You never miss it. You never miss it. Amen. You never miss it. Amen. You never miss it. Amen. He will have lost his marriage to that tree. He didn't get visa for his wife, but he was going anyway. Well, Jesus rescued him. He lives in fortune today. And that's you. You never, never miss your steps. Now, I proclaim heaven's blessing on this platform. The word of life will keep flowing from here. No unsafe soul will come in here and remain unsafe. Every safe soul in this place shall be established. Thank you for watching the video to this far and for ended, I have a book for you entitled Get this book for others or set a free donation to the number on the screen and I'll forward a soft copy to you wherever you find yourself. Always remember, a winners never quit and greatest never win. Yes, you can.